We just say what it was. You was never out here spraying no slugs. You didn't spend a day with no drugs. He wasn't running Harlem after all. It was always basketball. He was portraying a thug. He left New York and chose hoops like the flavor of love. Y'all nigga. We ain't the same, fam. You take orders from main man. I create and delegate the game plan. I'm a made man. You a nigga that's made man. I'm sick of you. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification, gang, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. I got my guy with me. Showtime, SP, to nobody that knows bodies. Bye. Right, right. Ready for the gunplay on a Monday, and we could only do this one way. Shout out to my guy. Um, URL homecoming went down, home going, or whatever you want to call it, went down yesterday. That's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like rewind the hands of time. You know what I'm you saying? I'm the director of the movie. Don't sue me. You know what I'm saying? Um, got some free time this week, so you know we get with my man SP. We break this down. Um, every round that I've sketched about, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, there's been a lot of rapid reaction. Uh, a lot of people blame it. Blame Verb. You can blame Verb for this. You know what I'm saying? He's the orchestrator of this, the director of this fucking madness. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, let's go back. You know, we're going to break down Murder Mook versus New Jersey Twerk. I did get to watch it again. You did get to watch it yes, again. Uh, you know, there's a lot of reaction rapidly when the battle just happens. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, sometimes you got to watch it. Uh, I watched just that. But, uh, yeah. you know, give me your thoughts on the night in general, and then we'll move forward. A lot of my energy last night um, may have been uh, unwarranted because of the fact that I did have a lot in my system. And I did have a lot in my system. But what I will tell you is... A uh, 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 inebriated mind speaks the real truth. I just want to point that out. I ain't changing my decision. Everything that happened last night, that did happen last night, I still feel the same way about it. The battles were a lot. Like, the battles were lackluster. The wait time was crazy. Um, shoot, oh god, like uh, the, the the choking from multiple battles. You know, it definitely didn't give me the, the, the homecoming feel. So it definitely soured the taste. But the one thing that saved it for me that night. Was that main event? So overall, it's gonna be the event of three. Yeah, but I was saying this shit ain't safe. Oh no, it didn't save. Like, I'm just saying save anything. Um, um, it was good. Uh, uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, partially. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what? But I will say this. Uh, I get entertained by whack shit sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I think we all do, you know what I'm saying? Like, so from an entertainment perspective, it was very entertaining. Like the theatrics, like Calico performing uh, WWE with T-Top standing right there. And T-Top's like, what up, Briz? What yeah, up, Briz? Yeah, yep. what up? And he's like, mm -hmm. yo, this nigga's literally like performing a diss record mm -hmm. to the whole crowd. In front of you while you standing there, not only brings Geechee guy, that shit was fucking crazy. Yeah. It was like the, it was like so it was that damn it was a circus. session. It was a circus. It was crazy, <laughs> right? Um, a lot of shit happened during the night. Niggas yeah. was up there choking. Niggas was up there stumbling. Mm -hmm. Niggas couldn't get through their rounds. And here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Um, when it comes to these events, the crowd that you get. When you first walk in the building and Smack walks out and does his thing, that's the best crowd you're going to get the whole night. Yeah. Because, number one, they've been standing out there all day. I know people that was there. Some people got there 8, 9, 10 in the morning battles and start to damn near 4 or 5. That's mm -hmm. a seven-hour period, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then, the battles are starting late, and then the shit's just not even hitting. Niggas is lackluster. They talking about the New York crowd is bad. The New York crowd wasn't bad. When they do, was they bad during the last battle? I was about to say in our in, in, in no, in they last give battle? what they get. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you 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 standing on your feet, these niggas is up there. They not getting through their rounds. Mm -hmm. They stumbling. They choking on Urban Plaza stage. Of course they're gonna give you hell. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. Yeah. And you all keeps having these big stage ass events and ain't no big stage battles. Mm -hmm. These niggas, a lot of these cats that battle are not big stage battlers, mm -hmm. and there was not no big stage battles. You see what I'm saying? You can just go through like the whole night. Like for instance, okay, Swamp and Luke Castro. Good opportunity for Luke Castro, but he fucking blows it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what he was rapping about through half the night. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I was listening to it and he'll just take a word like urgently, surgery, murder me. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, I get it, but you're not you're not rapping about nothing. Like, yeah, he he does a thing where his performance is way better than the track overcompensate. It's like yeah. that's not like I, and I'm the one I'm from the Bronx. I'm like, yeah, I wanna see this, yada yada yada. Yeah. But that shit that he put up verse swamp wasn't like that and I'm not even hating. What's the what's the one joint that kept getting on my nerves? Uh what'd he say? Um he said, You know why Swap ran from this battle? 
Cause he was scared of me. I was like, what? And then I can he, understand if the setup was like spooky and you gave me Michael nah, Myers. Nah, and then he had one where yeah. he was like, the, the, the one of his best moments of the battle was telling Smack, yo, Smack, hold it down. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the biggest moments of the whole fucking battle for him. I, no, no, I don't no. know. And Swamp did win. Swamp did win. He won. Because the one bar that I did really love was the joint. He said, we shoot niggas off muscle memory. Mm -hmm. That was, it, it made it. If you can make New York go crazy and you sound like you not from New York, it's clear you don't sound like you're from here. And you still make the crowd go crazy. That That's extra points, man. That's extra yeah, points. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? Like Swamp did have a couple chokes in the second round, but yeah. still in all, he still won the fucking battle. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ace Amin comes out there. Mm -hmm. What's up, man? Ace Amin, Shotgun Sugar. What's shotgun Sugar and Ace Amin, uh, to me, I thought that battle was going to be a little bit more to live up to um, because of the fact that Ace had a lot to prove. I mean, shoot, Ace was Ace had some bars. If I give you a couple of the bars Ace was saying mm -hmm. and don't mention that he was stumbling during this stuff, you're like, yo, why didn't Ace win this battle? YOLO, the judge told him he had double life. Yo, low, but the, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the joint, the remain in balance, the remain in balance. I'm trying to keep everything to remain in balance. That was dope. Trying to find Jim for months like a birthstone. Crowd went crazy for that. But the thing was, it yeah, he kept bringing the he was it's bringing choppy, the meal yeah, to it's me. Choppy, it's choppy, yeah, it's man, I don't like that shaky. I don't like the shaky uh platter, man. No, I don't like that. But Shug. when Shug started going off, Shug was going off. Small room nigga with a death wish. That was hot. Uh, he said, y'all know I make sirloin out of something tough? This is Suge, by the way. Sirloin out of something tough. Okay, he's a living legend. You gotta die to be. He said, I'm a living legend. You gotta die to be considered? That shit was crazy. Suge. That was over. That was over. That over. question, man, because I want to know. Over. When you... St like? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even, you keep going if you want but to. I'm just saying, but that's just the first round alone, right? So I'm thinking that it's going to get... I'm like, all right, so it might get dark for Ace. It kind of did get dark because you did get used to seeing the stumbling. And I'm going to get to that, too, when we get to that main event. When we talk about stumbling through the bars and just refreshing that first line. It's the difference. Yeah, it happens a lot. And, I got some footage of that, too, I'm going to put up in here. Yeah, I'm saying? So... But, like, uh, uh, but for that battle itself, yeah, I mean, I had should 3-0. But Ace Amin was fighting, but typically I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to saying that like Ace Amin's material is great, but you gotta get that performance. You can't, in battle rap, there's no way. Like at this level, against some of the best in the world, like not being able to get through your shit and the intellect, the intellect, the disconnect, the disconnect, the internet. Mm -hmm. Like that shit is just too much. I'd be like, this nigga saying something, but I don't know what the fuck he's saying. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I be thinking like, he probably saying something. Mm -hmm. but he's like, oh, minute, you frog, give me your time. I'm like, bro, I, 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 my mind, sorry, my nigga, I'm old. I don't have the mind to try to capture all of these fucking words. I've never written down, written any of his bars. I can't. I don't have the time, Ace. I mean, I can't write that shit out. Which is crazy because that's kind of what I do. That's what you bring. Man, but you don't do that though. But not nah, you but, do. Not, you do not do that with him. But I'm, no, I don't because you can't. I, I can't write it. Exactly. <laughs> you can't keep up with that shit. I'm like, oh, he is rapping. He's rapping nice, but I'm like. What get, did you get to me? You know what I'm saying? I, and I'm not even hating. No. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, I fuck with Ace. Don't call me about this shit, man. You put that performance up. It is what it is, mm -hmm. man. But that shit was, I can't keep up with it. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? And it's not just, and the thing is, if you're a bar breakdown guy that does bar breakdowns as much as you do, I know how to do them. I don't have to anymore, yeah. but I know how to. Yeah. And I will not mentally take, I'm like, nah, mm, nah, I can't. I was like, ain't no fucking way. I'm not, I can't. There's only two ways. The only two ways you you only two ways you'll pass that bar breakdown ball to me is if if it's overcomplicated and it's like all right, it's a lot going on. Show I'm gonna need you to go ahead and break that down. Or if it's so dumb, <laughs> you be like just you know just write write what I saw. I want you to hear what I, I saw. I can't. I can't. So uh, <laughs> that was that. Mm -hmm. uh, what was next? The next battle was. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. That was cool. I mean yeah. you know. I had her winning though. Hustle yeah. won. Yeah. Uh, Arsenal was like fucking rapping to himself and shit. And I was like yo. The nigga Arsenal oh, is yeah. rapping to himself, mm -hmm. but he's choking. I don't know how the fuck you stumbling through some shit that you rapping to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I couldn't understand it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I had to have Arsenal winning the second round, though. Yes, because I had he used the first, yeah. I had him winning the second. And then um, I really didn't see a lot of the third, because once she started talking about I'm going to kill your daughter, I'm going to see your daughter just close my eyes. I'm like, yeah. I ain't trying to hear that yeah. shit, man. I, I'm good. I, mm -hmm. I don't know, for me, it's just as a nigga with daughters, or you know what I'm saying, I don't know if the same with I you. Got a daughter too. You think about your daughter, they being three, four, five, oh, eight, niggas talking about killing your daughter, I got a bullet for her head. I'm, I just, I don't, that, I tune that shit out, man. I don't like that shit. I don't like it. You know, <laughs> it's just not a thing for me. So for me, I had her winning, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Um, I think the person that I was uh, not 
upset with, but the person I was more disappointed in was Arsenal because he did pull a Lux. He stopped in the middle of his first round. It was like, nah, just he like pulled out the phone. Yeah. He was in the nah, phone. Nah, she, nah, oh, yeah, she was wasn't moving on. I ain't doing <laughs> shit. The uh, battling yourself was was wild. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't won. like that either. Yeah, she won. Oh, and, uh, yeah, yeah. What's up with Geechee and Sirius, man? Talk to me about um, it. I had Geechee 3 0, but go ahead. I had Geechee beating the shit out of Sirius Jones. I had Geechee Gotti clearly catching a body mm -hmm. in New York. And that's not fair. You know what I'm saying? That's not right. It's too many, it's not too many times that that happened, but it's been, you know, it's been documented a few, two extra times that Cali niggas been coming over to New York and just beating up on these East Coast niggas as well. Mm -hmm. But it is payback for what happened last year in the streets. So technically the streets kind of provided for this one for me. That, I'm just, that's me personally, my personal opinion. Do you want a couple bars? I give you a couple. Um, see, before they do that though, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be like, oh, show wasn't listening to uh, Sirius Jones. Um, uh, Sirius Jones had something said, uh, he said, won't you grab a gun and rebuttal those rounds? Because he was talking about the boy that shot him. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, uh, yeah. He said, said, so, uh, said Ashy K Man, said Ash, Ashy K Man's, I damn near invented talking. Because, you know, Sirius Jones doesn't get the respect he deserves. But, yeah, he was doing a lot of the talking in, in his bars and stuff like that. Uh, this is the one Pat smearing. That was good, too. Uh, Wu-Tang Clan, Wu Clan scheme in New York, it should have worked. But it didn't fly like that. You know what I'm saying? Out the gate, though. It's kind of weird to paint the picture because Math is standing right here. Yo, I thought this was the crunchiest <laughs> shit in the world, son. These niggas had Math Hoffa on stage to damn near flip the fucking coin yes. in a battle versus a nigga that he swung on some years ago. Mm -hmm. And Geechee got, he got 45 different math bars. You know, how, the, how you, the math, the numbers got knocked out. Mm -hmm. you, the math, the math. Now I'm mm -hmm. like, oh my God. And Math is standing up there with every single designer in the fucking uh, King of Prussia Mall. This mm -hmm. nigga walked through every store wow. and grabbed one of everything and wore <laughs> all that shit out there at the same time. My nigga had a Gucci hat, mm -hmm. Fendi pants, Prada velvet, mm -hmm. Javinci shirt, mm -hmm. and a Hermes coat. This nigga had it all on. Shout out to him, man, Papa. But you know he had on Tim's. You know he had yeah, on Tim's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying what the, the niggas, niggas had no. The double sauce. So, <laughs> so the niggas dissing him in every round. And yeah. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is he? Why is he, the hell is he dissing him in every round for? You know what I'm saying? It was just a. Uh, it was a crazy, 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 crazy sequence. Now, I'm not going to lie. This wasn't the best Geechee that I've ever seen in the world. Mm. But what he brought was definitely enough to get past Sirius Jones. But I didn't think Sirius Jones was in a good position coming into this battle. I was like, you're going into New York. You're not a fan favorite in New York. You know what I'm saying? There's certain niggas in New York who are fan favorites, who are going to get the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. But, like, sometimes... And the thing is, one thing Sirius Jones does not lack is effort. You know what I'm saying? He's good. Yeah. He tries hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He doesn't lack effort when he's rapping, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You can tell the conviction is there, but the bars are just so, so, so dated in some material. You're telling Geechee that he looks ticklish and he, uh, the gun put it like a motorboat and all this other shit. It's like, come on, bro. Like, we're not doing this in 2023. <laughs> but there was a lot of old bars and a lot of battles, you know what yeah. I'm saying? There was a lot of old material that I just couldn't believe niggas was bringing to this uh, to this level of the game. But, but uh, you know, it was what it was. Moving on. I was about to say, just to, you know, just to finish off, the the contradiction that I felt in this battle was was kind of weird because the same thing that was overly used that Sirius Jones was doing, I wasn't mad that Geechee was doing it. So it's not about what you say, it's about how you say it. But it gets to the point nowadays where it's like, it doesn't matter how many times or how many ways you say it, we already heard it before. So we just kind of don't want to go with it. But then again, the if it does hit, it's going to hit. So I don't know. I, I still had Geechee got it 3-0. But you know, hey. you niggas don't want to hear about these bad battles, man. Moving mm -hmm. along, Rex versus Chess. Um, mm -hmm. Supposed to be a main event, it's a co-main event. The battle didn't finish; only one round got finished. Uh, Rex went through his round, serviceable material. Chess had some good shit, but it's really not about the bars. It's about the fact that grown men can't go on stage and conduct themselves as such. Mm. The battle got fucked up. You got almost hundreds, hundreds of people in the building that are now watching grown ass men on stage throw water bottles and fight. And I just think it was a waste of fucking money. And if I wasn't on this video right now, I'd probably be in contact with my bank, charging them back to get my twenty five dollars back. I'm just being honest with you. But what's up? That's that's facts, man. I'm calling caffeine. Like, hey, yeah, man, I, I need, need the coins. Yeah, I, I need, need the coins back. back. You know what I'm saying? But it, I, to be fair, on both sides. They was both high-headed, and it necessarily wasn't them two that was kind of making it worse. Mm -hmm. It was the entourages. It was the guys yes. in the back egging them on and things like that, and the constant grabbing. The like, all right, it's obvious. Don't grab him because, mm -hmm. you know, he's going to get mad if they swing on him. That's a valid point, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when he says, when Chess says, if one of y'all grab me again, I'm going to swing on y'all. Bro, he's part of your team. So it's like, 
I get it. The the tensions is rising. Then you see the whole crew. They they throw the they you throw the water. They try to start swinging at the crew. But what they end up doing is they push Rex to the back mm -hmm. so that they could. My, I, it, it was a lot going on, and I only got. 12, 12 skinnies. I was skinny with a 12 out of that. That's how I got out of that. I got a few hat uh, throws from Rex, and then I got maybe four to eight strong bars from Chess with no chokes or stones. Mm -hmm. And I got this as a push. I, I, I don't know who won that. I lost. I lost the battle, man. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, I... What the fuck? How do you even, I don't even know how you break this shit down. There's no breakdown. I don't want to see it again. No. I don't want to see no, we're going to rebook it on the next card and all that shit. Don't nobody want to see that. Man. No, nobody want to see that. Don't nobody want to hear no excuses. Oh, no, let me just do this. I don't, I don't know, interviews and shit afterwards, trying to clean it up. It's like, bro, I, I, I say it like this. And you and this is just a public thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I say it, and it, it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about you know, how no blogger feels or how nobody, because, you know, nowadays, everybody got something to say about somebody, you know what I'm saying? Right. I don't watch these niggas. But uh, here's the deal. When we go places, we go places as a representation of what we do. You know what I'm saying? We go places. What I always say, are we arguing with people here? No. Are we fighting with people here? No. Are we going in back and forth with people here? No. If when the shit is over, what are we doing? We getting the fuck out. I don't, out. like, you got to come to a place and move like you here to conduct business. These mm -hmm. niggas, like, when you get an opportunity to de-escalate some shit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas, like, Rock is about to fall off the stage trying to hold you back. Mm -hmm. And you're telling people, like, I'm a swing, I'm a swing on you, I'm mm -hmm. a swing, don't hold me. Like, bro, like... Bro, you know what? There's two places for really tough people. You know what you really are? Uh, jail. Yes. And uh, the morgue. Yes! That's the only place, bro. There's nobody who don't got a gun. Somebody don't got a gun bigger than yours. There's nobody that's tougher than nobody else. And this shit is just out of somebody control. Somebody can man. always get the drop on you. Yeah, and it's just another It's just another bad, uncompleted battle for chess. Yeah. It is what it is. So I'm not going to hold any more to that. You got anything else? I'm moving on. Nah, man. You already you already did enough, man. Right. Well, to the main event. Yes. New Jersey Twerk mm -hmm. versus Murder Mook. I'm going to start this with a disclaimer. Go ahead. I'm not friends with New Jersey Twerk. I'm not friends with Murder Mook. Murder Mook has publicly said F me before. Twerk has blocked me before. Said F me before. We not blocked no more. We follow each other on Twitter and shit like that. But we not friends. He's dissed me before because of my opinion and shit like that. And, I, and I'm not mad at it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I do see him as his growth as far as him being an MC and moving along and trying to do things for himself and his family. So I'm not here to tear down either MC, mm. but I just let you know I got no dog in the fight. And as a matter of fact, I bet on one MC and wound up paying because this the situation, you know what I'm saying? I bet on one person, mm -hmm. Mook, mm. and I wound up having to pay out. Why? So don't play with me mm. and act like, oh, da, 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 because I could have argued for the nigga that I want to win, however it want, however mm. it goes down, but I argued, and I and the polls and all the reaction, the rapid reaction. So I'm going to just take a couple minutes. If you want to go through it, no. we could do it like that, or I could just we could just say who we feel like one and then go through it. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. I'm, I, 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 I like the, the, the way that you, you set that up. Because you have to preface it. Yeah, I got to preface. I got to preface that too, because it's and it's the, and everything you said, ditto to me. Both has been said from both sides towards me. Be real with you. For for me to have a dog in this fight is kind of impossible because I am impartial. To, I mean, yeah, I'm about to say I'm impartial on both sides because there is material on both sides that I like and there's materials on both sides I ain't really like. So I think this is the most even way I can give it to you. Um, I do got bars. And I also did a little bit of extra homework, and I watched it a second time. And let me tell you something about it. It's like, it, it is wine. It is fine wine. Because mm -hmm. that second time around, we got a little bit more to find. There's some things that I didn't catch from Mook that I got in here. There's some things that I didn't catch from Twerk that I got in there. Mm -hmm. I got it. However you want to break this down, bro, you can set it up. Uh, it is what it is. Like, this battle is going to be called either one or two ways. They're either going to give it to New Jersey Twerk, or they're going to debate it to a murder move. Mm -hmm. I do feel like there is a debate, but for me, when it comes down to it, uh, New Jersey Twerk had bigger moments. He got a loud, audible 2-0 two, two chant in New York, in Murder Mook's backyard. And I'm not even going to play no games with you. Mm -hmm. Jersey Twerk win the first round. Mm -hmm. I got a second round being close, mm -hmm. and I got a third round going to Mook. The okay. second round, I gave New Jersey Twerk, too. So I got the battle 2-1 Twerk. I mean, in a close, closer battle than most people will say. Yes. But for me... As a fan of battle rap, mm -hmm. to hear loud, audible, two o oh, two and the <laughs> that's disrespect. 
The material is going along with it, and both of them have material. Now, here's the thing. I hear people with this whole, oh, he wasn't getting through, he wasn't through. No, I watched it. Mm -hmm. When he's doing his lifter gauge, lifter gauge, that's what he does. He yeah. does oh, I'm a Christian. Six foot one. It's just a different thing. It's just a... It's just a different face. It's just a different face. It's just a different face. You can't just portray when your words. That shit in every fucking battle. Keep talking, you know what I'm bro. Saying? Keep cooking. He do that shit in every battle, so I'm not gonna pick and choose against when he's like lift the gauge, tool dump, tool dump. That's what he do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he literally is not choking mm -hmm. at that part of the battle. Yeah. Now I understand there may be other parts where you may feel that somebody had a slight stumble or a slight whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. but in these scenarios when he's doing shit like this, I ain't steady and dump a slow. Air it and punch your lungs. Air it and punch your lungs. Mm -hmm. I said, like when you air it and punch the I'm not, I'm not. If he gets to the next bar, is that considered a choke? I want to know. What's up, man? I'm going to put it to you like this. No, it's not considered a choke. Could you call it a slip? Yes. Is it a stumble? No. It's the lightest part of the choking. If there was a choking scale, it's the lightest part of it. Only because you're just trying to get a, you're trying to get that bar off. Not to mention you got people behind you and around you that is yelling in your ear and your opponent is also talking while you're rapping. You want him to hear what you're saying too, so you gotta have that set up right. I don't have no problems with um, I don't have no problems with Twerk uh, re saying the first line. I don't have no problems with Surf or Rock redoing their four bars. Mm -hmm. It only gets excessive when we do it. It's the third or fourth or fifth time. You understand what I'm saying? Now let me tell you why I like one. Let me tell you why I moved one. Right? Mm -hmm. For the people that feel like he won, his material was cleaner. Mm -hmm. It was the best murder move that people have seen, and I felt like murder move with that same material would have beat everybody on the card. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's not a shadow of doubt in my mind. Except for New Jersey Twerk in that battle, mm -hmm. he would have beat every single person that was on Homecoming. No exception. That, right? is, a, that is a fact, you know and I will double stamp that. So, hold on. So, my thing is this. Phenomenal performance, the best murder move that I've seen in, a, in, in since he's probably returned, you know, outside of Tay Rock battle or whatever the case may be. But in front of a large crowd, big stage, to do what he did yesterday, mm -hmm. there are gonna be people who feel like he won, and a lot of them, and guess what? I ain't mad at the motherfucking one, but I will say this. Mm -hmm. I bet on him, mm -hmm. and when all of the polls and all the reactions and everything else go down, mm -hmm. I had to pay because of it, you right. know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of person that will bet on a nigga, I bet on Mook, this shit is right here in my cash app. I'm not gonna bet on a nigga, see what the whole world is reacting and saying, and go against the grain and be like a nigga won anyway, because then that's not fair, you mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So. Even if I bet on someone, if the consensus, I'm a consensus, most more than likely, 98% mm -hmm. of the time, if the battle is felt to be one way and there's the material and shit that, that correlates with it, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying, that's how I'm gonna rock. Yeah. And in this one, it's a very good, 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 great battle. The event was fucking horrible, mm -hmm. great battle. Highly debatable to me. Mm -hmm. I do feel like, because there's ways I could debate it both ways, mm -hmm. but if I'm thinking about the more powerful material, the more impactful moments, I had twerk, especially with the first. Uh, Murder Mook, you know what I'm saying, with the third, because I just felt like Murder Mook's third was cleaner and he had a lot he had a lot of shit in there. Mm. And you know, twerk, I edged him in a second. But anyway, what's up? Murder Mook's cleanliness should be rewarded. And it is. It's the, one of those things that he always has is clear material. You're not going to see Murder Mook slip, stumble, or do none of that. Not and, I, and you know I gave Mook the third? My bad, excuse me. Like, no, 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 I want you, I want you, no, 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 no. I want you to I'm going to tell you why I gave him the third. Before we get into the bottom. Another, uh, 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 another thing, that, another disclaimer that I got to put out there for Murder Mook too. I know that Murder Mook is a lyricist. Mm -hmm. There is a difference between being a rapper and a lyricist. But when you're also a battler, you have to have that balance between lyricism and having battle bars. This was the best material that I've heard from Murder Mook because you know what we didn't get? No A, B, C, flips, A, E, B, G. The only thing that I might have been critical of. A lot of, of that cringy pause words. It's a couple yeah, cringe yeah. worthy things that he said, right? So um, shout out to Holmesy the guy because he said a tweet that I really, really liked. He says, Murder Moop will say some shit that you absolutely love. And then the very next line, he will say something that you absolutely hate. That is a fact. Because I be giving Moop all of the love because he be cooking. And then he'll say something I go, ah, I ain't really like that like that. With, t with New Jersey twerk. Shout out to New Jersey twerking his lyricism and the way that he stretched his pen because I like the way that he set up a lot of the bars. Even though twerk is big on haymakers, his setups was really, really good. The one that I liked was when he did the family the, the family tree, the uh, he said the aunts, the cousins, the moms, the dads, and then he said by the time we get, to, he said by the time they find your uncle murder, he gonna be wrapped up for a year. 
that was crazy. But the one thing, uh, and another thing that I like from Moot, man, let me tell you what I like from Moot. He does, he does, he me, does this thing where he goes, the minute he move a millimeter, made him move, uh, made him a memory. Too many to make out how many I make, how many and say a myriad. I'm hearing how heinous the hit is hit him. It was hideous. That's just a little alliteration for if you were literate. Is a lyricist, and this is one of those lyric lyricism things that he does. That is amazing, and I did it that fast to show you. It ain't easy to do that. He said the minute he moved, the millimeter made him a memory. Too many to make out. How many I make him say a myriad. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing how heinous the hitters hit him. It was hideous. That's just a little alliteration if you were literate. And he did all of that as a setup because all he does is idioms. Mm -hmm. They said someone that's idiom could be such an idiot. Like he was wild. That, that whole segment, of, that's the type of uh -huh. shit. So this is the reason why I say the niggas who feel like murder move one is not wrong. No, they're not wrong. No. I don't feel no way. I mean, I, I, we on this level, there's mm -hmm. a lot of consensus shit. Mm -hmm. So whatever the major poll, if I put out a poll, whatever the majority is, the consensus is where it's probably gonna go. Mm -hmm. But somebody said, and I and I respect that they said, murder move. Will probably not win this battle for the fans, the votes, and things, but it's his best material that he's had. He fucking went insane. Mm -hmm. But my guy, you good. You we matter of fact, you free, man. Let's <laughs> get to it, man. You we know when, when, when we was doing when we did the live right after, it was still natural reaction. So like I said, I said this was the best Mook that I've seen, and Mook did amazing. But to me, it was not enough. And the reason why I say it was not enough is because you battling somebody who overpowers with the haymakers. Mm -hmm. Um the uh the uh it's little stuff like now. I'm about to say you can go through them. Like uh, you got the, you can go around, you can go through all your good all shit, right. man. Let's put it all. Well, out I, there. I, I did the, I did the, the myriad millimeter joint. I mean, he was doing a good one too. He said, he said, I'm. Let me try this out. Let me try this out. Because you got your nose too. No, I, mean, I wrote that down. <laughs> all right. I would have expected someone that's so witty with idioms to be an idiot. Mm -hmm. The minute he moved, the millimeter make him a memory. To take it, to take out many, I make him a myriad. Heinous how the hitters hit him. It was hideous, mm -hmm. and that was a little alliteration if you were literate. I literally wrote mm -hmm. that down. I was like, yo, that shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. Now you can keep going. I like the poor, uh, robbing poor people grandmas. Me uh, and my niggas, we robbed Peter, Peter to pay the pallbearers. That shit was fire. Y'all yeah, niggas ain't doing that Listen, tonight. man. Listen, man. Uh, now... Bar I like, bar I didn't like, right? The be the be at it, Mike Jack line. You could you could extra sketched it because I did like the be at, but he was trying to spell out beat it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, extra sketch it because the one I like when he says I get the ball and make it the first time, like, like a one and one. one, one. The, he said in a one and one, the industry in the streets, no, I'm in one between and one, one and one. one. Book, I like that type of shit. <laughs> Man, I like it. He says, "Don't worry, being strapped in whips, nigga. We strapped in here." Mm -hmm. Mook was setting it up, man. Waste energy, but he said, "Why would I waste all my energy bouncing around when that's what the bullets do?" Yeah, Mook, you was cooking, man. You, oh, 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 this the one that slid past, but don't nobody like that. Uh, uh, you would see the Grams lock before the door, Boy, dude. That was crazy, bro. Dude, see the Grams lock before the door. That was fucking insane. That's what I be you know what I'm saying. Um, now round one on twerk like a deep, I'm just you know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to keep it in there. Uh, funny thing that uh, Mook said Michael Jackson right because murder Mook said I mean because New Jersey twerk says if you Michael Jordan I'm Michael Myers I ain't chasing murder these bitches tripping over nothing. Nah, you gotta go back now. We can't okay, I got you. Nah, he was talking about like, all of the discussion. Nah, nah, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. We gotta go way. Oh, you want? Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> this nigga really started like in the middle of the round. Um, the out the gate. The nigga go ahead. comes out the gate. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to know, but I know it, man. This nigga <laughs> was talking about Murder Mook's accomplishments, mm -hmm. what he did for the Battle Rap game, for URL, and this nigga said, what you want, a cookie murder? Young Dolph, nigga, that shit hit like a motherfucker. So for those that don't know, please explain. Young Dolph's last stop before, he, where he got murdered at was Makita's, a cookie shop uh, in Memphis, you see what I'm saying? Uh, and he was basically murdered because he went to go pick some cookies up for his mama. But niggas was, they had to drop on him. They was tailing him everywhere he was going, making phone calls like, yo, he's at the shop right now. They jumped out at Makita's mm. cookie shop and mm. shot him down. So what that means, he's saying, you want a cookie murder, young Dolph. Mm. Saying, do you want a cookie for your efforts? Yep. But then saying, the cookie murder, mm. it's a double entendre, but yeah. it's fucking phenomenal. That, that, All right, that, let's go. Now, the Michael, he said, uh, he says, you keep, he said, every time there's, they talk about this discussion, mm -hmm. how you the Mike Jordan of all of this stuff, uh, of all of this stuff. And mm -hmm. He said, well, if you Mike Jordan, I'm Michael Myers. I ain't chasing murder over, these bitches tripping over nothing. Crazy. Right? He said, now, the, the setup he does with this one, he's like, you swung on, you swung on Briz, 
Uh, and uh, he said, you smoke on Briz? I wish you would do that to me. Mm -hmm. He says, play hardball, G-Baby. That'll be the last time you ever swing. Crazy. You see in the movie Hardball, the little G-Baby. Mm -hmm. There was a little kid. Mm -hmm. He had hit the ball out the park. You know what I'm saying? He said, we'll go from the subway to the jail like I'm Jerry. Jerry Fires. Jerry went from subway it's, to jail. Now, now how he, uh, uh, the, uh, the one, uh, another thing, the reason why Twerk is, is as explosive because he does a big setup that you don't think that he's, like, it makes any sense until he gets there because the punch is literally what was set up, right? He says, um, next, he said, uh, uh, he says, um, uh, uh, he said, uh, the next nigga, think about this and smack, take one good look at Shine and forget all about it. Yeah, Men in black. black? Crazy. Crazy. Now, I did say this a little earlier, but I'm gonna say it again. He says, um, they gonna have your, um, they gonna have your auntie. Um, I'm gonna kill, uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill your wife. Struck her in fear. Kill the auntie and the sister. He says, but now I'm gonna find your mother's brother and wrap him up and put him in a Honda. And they gonna leave him for months. He says, the way, he said the, um, yeah, um, uh, yeah. They he was gonna say, a year's five. By the time they yeah, find him, he was gonna murder. Murder. He'll be ready for the whole year. I don't know why he went through that hey. whole long ass. <laughs> the, by the time they find him, a year went by. Yeah. Now, That's um, uh, uh, now, now, the crowd's going crazy, right? Then Twerk goes into his angling bag, mm -hmm. right, where he talks about how uh, Murder Mook ain't, he is from New York, he is from Harlem, but he definitely left to go to college, right? So he says this nigga went to school for marketing, he just trying to maintain his image, watching this new Creed just because Jonathan Majors in it, Jonathan Majors plays Kang. And he was also in Creed. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Major. That's fine. He says, this one is a quick slide. He says, you was in Chicopee out in the sticks. That's a pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. Chicopee out in the sticks. It's cool. He, now, this is where the crowd goes crazy. You wasn't in Harlem after all. Yeah, you left for college to go play basketball. He says, you wasn't in Harlem after all, just basketball. You left New York and chose hoops. Like the flavor of love. Mm -hmm. Fire. Uh, then he made the comparison. Okay, you did that. You know, that's cool. Well, I I wish I had them same opportunities mm -hmm. because I wish I could have left the streets. I wish I could have went to college and stuff like that. I played football and sold footballs. They cut me from wide receiver because I couldn't get away from the corner. Mm, mm. Wide receiver, you will get cut if you can't get away from the corner. Fire. Mm. Now, um, the uh, where he, uh, where he also talks about Mookie he says Charlie Brown. I done smoked so many Lucy's. Uh, football got snatched away from me. I done smoked so many Charlie Brown, I done smoked so many Lucy's, the football gets snatched away from me, I ain't gonna say it no more. Um, the, then he made the comparison saying that uh, you went to go play ball for a Catholic school with the Virgin Mary, I picked up an eight ball and got a Virgin Mobile. Crazy. It was wild at that point. They Last bar of the round is when he definitely went. He said, he said, I made that comparison to say, I wish if I done went to prep school, I would have never fucking choked. It's fine. That, that's just the first round. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it like this. I gave Twerk the first round. To me, it was the clearest round. Mm -hmm. To, to, uh, to go into the second round or how I felt about the second round, Murder Mook was cooking, and then he had the Paul, like he, he was cooking, and then he kind of had this, this bar at the end that kind of like deflated yeah, the yeah, whole energy. Was, uh... Yeah, I, I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. But it's no hard feelings on that if you feel the type of way. Uh, that's how I felt. Second round for Twerk. It started off slow, mm -hmm. and then it ended up going going really well. So if you really feel like that second round is the is where that debate is, I can tell you how I felt. But yeah, for Twerk's last few bars, he, it, it edged it, and this is how he got the two old chant. He got the two old chant because he says, um, uh, 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 he says uh, I'm mad because uh, they interviewed Dave uh, Dave East and Buster Rhymes, right? Mm -hmm. Dave East and Buster Rhymes. He says, next time I, and he said, next time I'm going to New York, we going to Manhattan, we ain't playing no games. And that's on Dave and Buster. So we're going looking for Dave and Buster. That was crazy. That tipped the crowd. Zigzag all through the dots like I'm unlocking an Android. So you don't get that, you know what I'm saying? I don't Just need an Android to get that. I know enough people who <laughs> to get that. I do not, listen, I might not own an Android, but I do not sleep under a rock. I know exactly what he meant. It got the dots all over the that shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. The DVD era and the DVD era. Then oh, the scratch the. Your shit too scuffed up for alcohol to fix it. 
he talks about how Murder Mook is a heavy drinking. He's always drinking, right? Mm -hmm. He talks about the DVD saying the DVD error and the alcohol uh, to to, uh, to fix it, right? Mm -hmm. He says, but you've been with the conglomerate and you've been drinking. That means it took you eight years. You've been with Buster Rhymes and all he did was pass the Kavasi. Come on, what are we doing? Here? The crowd started chanting 2-0, so it's kind of hard for me to also disagree. It's kind of hard for me to disagree. Yeah, and you know what? I will say this in, in correspondence to it. Mm -hmm. The whole battle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't have to go to all these bars, bars, bars. I've been doing this shit long enough. Do right? you think? If we remove the round that you feel like was the clearest, right? Mm -hmm. The first round. Mm -hmm. Just remove it. Like, let's take it out the battle altogether. And there's two more rounds left in this battle. Is New Jersey Twerk losing both of them? Does he lose both of the rounds that's left in the battle? Because I didn't feel that way. I did. You know what I'm saying? After that, yeah. If we, now we count second? I've never been in a building. Why? Because the, the, the thing is, y'all like to re reshift, reshape and shift shit when it comes to their favorites and our favorites and shit. Mm -hmm. I have never been in a building. I wasn't in for this one, but I'm just saying I've never been in a building or watched a battle on cam. Where a nigga got loud, audible, 2 0 chants and lost the battle. I, yeah. Never! Has that ever happened? Have you ever. Listen. Listen to the 2 0 chant, 3 0 chant thing now. Mm -hmm. When a nigga's getting 2 0 chants, 3 0 chants, what does that normally win? And usually, they're clearing, right? That means that they're clearing this battle, that right? Person's winning. Whoever they're cheering for is winning. Is winning. Mm -hmm. Now, was there gas? Of course, it's New York. There's gas everywhere. You know mm -hmm. how much motherfucking gas costs New York? Gas high as shit. But you should not be able to tell me that a nigga from the DMV should be able to walk in New York on Irvin Plaza, get two old chants, loud, audible two old chants. And Murder Book is not that disliked of a figure no. to where people would say he didn't win the battle if he won and shit like that. I seen that when Arsenal's battle, they had Arsenal winning the fan vote. Well, his opponent is that much disliked that they would probably vote for somebody to win the battle that they wasn't. In this point. regard, I don't see that happening. Mm. Just saying. Mm. And I know a lot about a lot of these MCs, and I don't see them just saying Murder Mook won a battle that he didn't win. Right. Now, with that, with all... Or saying he lost a battle yeah. that he was getting 2 old chance. Now, listen, hold on, I'm going to add this last point. Ahead, if Murder Mook had 2 old chance in that fucking building, you guys would not be singing the same song. You would not be on here saying, twerk one, twerk one, ain't no way he won. If he got them 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, and you know what he would be saying? You heard the fucking crowd? Mm -hmm. The crowd was saying 2-0, mm 2-0. -hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Come on, son, we can't do it like that. We're mm -hmm. not moving the goalpost. Now, third round... I'm only going to be nitpicky. I'm not going to give you any bars. I'm just going to, I'm just going to paint the, the preface. What happens is you have the last word, right? If you're in the third round, right, and you're at the top of the third round, after you finish rapping, what do you do? Typically, you don't do anything. You just listen to what that person got to say at the end of their round, walk up, dap them up, end of the battle. Why is it that Murder Mook is talking through uh, uh, New Jersey Twerk's third round? It got to this point where I felt like because Twerk was doing so well, he wanted Moo was maybe trying to get Twerk to choke so that now we could tip the scale mm. back on Moo's side. That's he's definitely doing a lot of talking, a lot of talking, a lot of talking. While he rapping, he all of this extra shit. Yeah. But I gave I gave uh, Murder Moo the, the third round yeah. for one reason only. Man. Mm -hmm. Uh, fuck the raps. Twerk brings out Briz. What does he bring out Briz Rothstein for? He not rapping. He not there to swing on the nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. what does Mook do? He's the victim. Yeah. I punched on him. Like, he just starts going in and yeah. shoots down the whole thing. I guess it was like a kind gesture. Now, if he had brought Briz out and Briz would have been mic'd up and started rapping or some shit, that would have been one thing. But I can't see Briz coming out for free mm. and you ain't rapping for money. Like, that shit is crazy as hell. Like, how you ain't going to... But what I will say is I don't say nothing. I what I no what I will say is I saw that strategy because Mook was doing all of the extra talking and, and, and Twerk even say, yo, like stop talking through my shit. Fuck it. Then he went to that. He would have he might have not went to that if you know Mook wasn't you know doing what he was doing. So I guess he was trying to get that big reaction. And he did get a big reaction. Mm -hmm. But once again, when you are not rapping, why are you yelling? Like, you know what I'm saying? When you when you rapping, why are you why are you I don't know. But I just let it go. He did say you the victim. Tried to edge the side of the crowd. I say that the I, I can say that you can uh, I gave Mook the third round. He was the cleanest in the third round. It was choppy and it was a little slippy blippy, but it wasn't like crazy. Murder Mook's material was better in the third, but I do have New Jersey Twerk winning this battle 2-1. Yeah, I got a 2-1, but I got it closer than more people would uh 
probably give credit for. I know people say like it's a wash or a blowout. And like I said, yeah. I definitely agree and I understand with the people out there that are feeling like Murder Wink One, whether mm. his material was clean or whatever the case may be. Like I said, my bet was on him. Mm. But you know, I with the people like the dude I bet with, we kinda go with the, the majority rules, you know what I'm saying? And if the the consensus is doing 70, 20, 68, 32, mm. 55, 45, how do I look like going to a nigga and be like, yo, I won anyway, I'm not paying you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When, and mind you, it's my man Shizzy. We done had every single card, this nigga will come to me and send me the whole card, be like, pick who you want. And I pick all the MCs that shit that I want, mm. and he'll bet me 20, it don't be nothing heavy. It'd be like $25, $50 a battle, and we go back and forth. I got a good relationship with him, and what he does, now, if me and the nigga, um, if, if Shiz hit me up and is like, yo, I got 50 on Moog, Rex, Chess, this person, right? Mm. He'll send me all the money up front. Mm. Just the whole shit, like as he lost, you know mm. what I'm saying? So that's why I, I, what I'm saying is, a nigga will send me the whole 200 up front. And then if he lose, I'll send him back, or if he wins. Let's say he wins one battle, loses the other three, I send him back 50 of his own dollars, because right. I didn't beat him, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. Or I'll send him back 100, because he gets 50 and then he gets 50 for winning the battle. Yeah. But if I win, I keep everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we. And we kind of agree, like the majority, whatever the whatever the public is saying, whatever the however the public is going, yeah. or whatever the polls is going, or whatever we agree to is yeah. that. And me being one that who, who had voted and put my money on move, mm -hmm. I lost it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I wasn't gonna sit there in his face with a nigga who I've been doing bets with for a minute and just tell him, nah, fuck that. The nigga lost. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'll say this overall. Scale of one to ten, the event was probably a three four. Uh, that battle was fire. Rum Nitty versus. Uh, Loaded Lux got announced, but we need a day. You gotta put a day on it. Yeah. We're not doing the Cassidy freeway shit where it's like, yo, they battling the top of the year, and then top of the year come, and the bottom of the year come, and we still don't see that shit. Hey, man, Geechee. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, what's up, man? You got anything <laughs> I, else? I'm gonna say this, um, because I wanna, and I wanna say it loud and clear. This was the best MOOC performance that I've, that I've seen, and he is getting, and if that's, and if I keep saying that every time, that means MOOC is getting better. I don't want Mook to take a break. I don't want Mook to sit back. I want him back in, in these trenches with these killers. Like, I'm not mad at what we got from this murder move and from this run of murder move. So it ain't no hate if I want to see you more. The hate is when I'm like, man, I'm so tired of this thing. And I'm not. I'm enjoying all of the bits of that stuff. I'm so proud of New Jersey Twerk because of the year that he's had and living up to the expectation and not fumbling the and bro, you gotta talk to them. You be talking to me the whole time. People be telling you, that, like, that's what you gotta talk to them. You be talking to me the whole time. Oh, uh, I be like, this. I be talking to them. I'm proud of New Jersey Twerk because he actually lived up to the expectations, not just for one battle, but he's been living up to the expectations all year. He's mm -hmm. becoming the battler, the scary, spooky, dangerous rapper that a lot of people or a lot of his fans have seen and have seen glimpses of. We now got a full showing of that. And for that, I'm not going to say this battle is a classic. I'm not saying that yet, but it does get better every time I rewatch it. Event is a three, though. Yeah, I mean, it was a great, it was a good battle, you know what I'm saying, in comparison to, like, everything else that went on. Uh, New Jersey Twerk is not a finished product. He obviously still has some things to clean up, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think that, I think that that whole repetitive nature in some of his words, and let me get this, uh, he's going to, that's not going to go anywhere because when he punches, he punches at such a high level that the crowd gets so loud and crazy. Like, if he's going, uh, fucking, uh, I'm over the body with the hoodie down, the crowd is going crazy. If he's got another bar at that after that, He's not going to be able to say, he's not going to be able to say, I'm over the body with the hoodie down. Ah. Then the car screeks and I pull around. Like he's going to have to catch the flow again. You see what I'm saying? Because the crowd, the reaction. That's so instead of saying, uh, I'm over the body with the hoodie down. If the next line is, uh, I hit, I hit, I hit A on the phone and tell him pull around. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have to say I hit A, I hit A, I hit A. Yeah. Yo, yo, I'm over the body with the hoodie down. The crowd's mm -hmm. gonna reach that. Mm -hmm. I said I hit A. The car pull around. Mm -hmm. I look at now. Like he starts doing that, and I understand from a lyricist perspective. I'm not a battle rapper. I'm not a rapper, but I can understand flow, tempo, and pace in an environment, Did especially it. when we've been in these environments and I've been in these places and seen how sometimes I had to tell niggas. Oh, the other night at Kids of Christmas, I'm up on the couch looking down, and I'm seeing niggas have a whole. I'm like, yo, 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 I'm tapping niggas, bro. They rapping, like y'all have a whole side conversations. Stop, shut the fuck up, and let these niggas rap. Like, what are we here for? Are we here to have, have conversations, or are we here for rap? Mm. And you know, it's just certain things that come with different elements of crowd control that mean a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you look at some of the other battles, 
Some other people have bad crowd reactions or bad crowd controls. Ace is up there choking and stumping and trying to fight niggas in the crowd. I said, you gotta be fucking. Yeah. Said, this nigga yeah. is not. Like I said, it is growth. It is. It is indeed growth. Yeah. So like I said, I'm. I'm proud. I'm. The niggas up there choking and trying to fight the crowd at the same time. So now instead of them saying one, two, oh, two, oh, now they really going with the other person. Yeah. Oh my God, man. Yeah. What's up, man? You got anything else, man? Man, listen, I it, the the that the the event was a shit show, but the 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 birthday cake that came at the end, I'm I'm, I'm still gonna talk about the party. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just like when you have a shitty party, but the food was good. Mm. That's it, man. Listen, I ain't mad. Like I said, I am not mad. I was thoroughly entertained. Shout out to Calico. Shout out to you. Shout out to URL, man. I truly appreciate the entertainment. I know people think I'm in. Pay. I y'all listen. Y'all are number one because trust me, there's no other league that would have been able to entertain me with the theatrics and the shit that went on this weekend. I am entertained. Mm. I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people out there are probably mad. I probably wouldn't buy the next one, but still, I was entertained. Yeah, it. I mean, it is. It is like watching. It's and the like, only reason I don't buy this shit is because of him. No, I'm just. Joking. No, I'm about to say no. The nigga was out, hey. and the event started, and I was like, oh fuck, man. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, man. I wanted to go see that Renaissance movie. All right, man, that shit was fire. All right, said, this nigga's was not movie. wasting my time. I said, this being installed to death. I said, my nigga in the movie watching Beyonce. Yes. Shit. I said, man. And I wasn't alone. Don't get it twisted. Let me just put this twenty five dollars on the shit. Yep. But, the, but hold on, why'd you only pay 25? Because I told you to get the app. See? I've been having that. I always <laughs> have that. I always have it. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, they don't be shit on there worth watching. It don't. But, but I still have it's it. It's worth the 25 to have the app because we it's just like don't. A it's like a military <laughs> discount. That's what I call that shit for now. The app is like a military discount because I would have to pay 50 without it. So mm -hmm. I ain't really mad, mm -hmm. but I could have kept my $25. You know what I'm saying? The $25 holler. But other than that, man, yeah. I really ain't got nothing else, man. You got anything? Man, listen, I'm, I'm here. No, he doesn't.